dive in. I am as happy over your promises as if I had found a great treasure. A cenote is a special kind of sinkhole. When the ceiling of an underground cave, well, caves in, it creates a sinkhole. If that sinkhole fills up with water, from rain or an underground stream, it becomes a cenote. The Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico has thousands of cenotes. In fact, most of that area's water come from them. That explains why they were so important to the ancient Mayans who lived there. Cenote even comes from the ancient Mayan word that means sacred well. Today, these pools are often used for swimming and scuba diving. Archaeologists diving into their depths have discovered fossils of mammoths, sloths, giant jaguars, and even camels, along with pieces of gold, jade, and pottery. And of course, there are all the natural cave treasures like stalactites and stalagmites. When you dive into a cenote, who knows what treasure you might find. Kind of like God's word. When you dive in, you're sure to find a treasure. It might be something about God that you never knew before, or the answer to a tough problem you've been facing, or a promise that reminds you just how much God loves you. Unlike other books, the words of the Bible are made alive by the power of the Holy Spirit, which means there's always a treasure waiting for you. Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you for the treasure of the Bible. Please teach my heart to want to dive into its treasures every day. Amen. Be amazed, a fact for the day. There are apparently thousands of cenotes all over Mexico. But the most impressive and the most popular are found in the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. There's about 6,000 cenotes. But only 2,400 of these have been discovered and researched. The Bible is a real treasure. But before you dive in, say a prayer asking Him to show you the treasure He wants you to find. Then try looking for one of these things. A truth about who God is. A promise God has for you or a action he wants you to take.